Ryan Vincent here from Sally Entertainment, sponsored by Biosteel. I'm with George of the Surrey Thunder. First and foremost, George, how are you feeling tonight? Pretty good. Hope I have a fun game. Awesome. You guys are playing the North Delta Sun Devils. What's the game plan here for you guys to come out swinging and get the victory tonight? Get pucks deep, uh, shoot high, we'll shoot as fast as you can, and try your hardest. That's a great game plan. That usually wins games. George, on behalf of BioSteel, I got a whole pack of hydration sticks for you and your team, so here's that. On behalf of Selly Entertainment, there's a bunch of Selly lanyards for you and whoever you want to give them away to. And if you guys want some Selly helmet stickers, here's a pack of that. After all that, a couple quick fun questions for you. Uh, what's your favorite movie or TV show or video game? Oh, that's pretty hard. I gotta say Deadpool and Wolverine. Oh, man. That's the best answer I think I've ever gotten. Best one. Last question before I let you go. Who's your favorite hockey player? Definitely Quinn Hughes. He's a staple. Hey, thanks a lot and good luck in tonight's game. Thank you. Lorenz gets body number six. Robinson has a shot. Oh my goodness! Has a shot. Oh, and scores. Oh. Back to the ground. Throws a right out front to Allen. And what a fantastic goal! Welcome back to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the North Delta Sun Devils versus the Surrey Thunder. Live from North Delta Recreation Center in beautiful Delta, British Columbia, this is the Monday Night Madness. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. What's up, guys? Welcome back once again. If you've clicked on this video, do a small favor before you watch it. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, today's episode has been sponsored by BioSteel. Green, it's the North Delta Sun Devils right in front of our eyes wearing those black jerseys with red and yellowish trim, and they have Kayla in between the pipes for them. And on the other end, right here, it's the Surrey Thunder wearing those white jerseys with brown and blue trim, and they have Patch in between the pipes for them. Hello, Patch. Hello, Kayla. Green, this is the Fraser Valley West U13C regular season game, and I'm excited. I'm right there with you. On that note, I want to take a quick second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name or call you the wrong number. I am sorry. Happens every single game. That being said, Green, let's dive into the action between the Surrey Thunder and the North Delta Sun Devils. Let's get it underway. Here we go. Some house league hockey, Green, sponsored by BioSteel. And you know the kids are very excited about that. They like the BioSteel products. They get hydrated before the game. They get energy. And after the game, they get a little more BioSteel, Green. <laughs> It's Bile Steel for everyone. Keeping them jacked up for their parents. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, and you're welcome. But there is no sugar in Bile Steel. Let that be known. Uh, here we go. The Surrey Thunder makes a couple moves to go around the defender on the backhand and scores. Number 11, Reed gets the first goal of the game for the Surrey Thunder. And Green, that looked like a rep level goal to me. That was a nice goal. It was a nice goal. You could see he was very excited at that one. Here we go. It all happens. Reed actually knocked that puck loose from Kovacic. Then he goes around Vincent. Reed goes around number 17 Saunders. He's all alone against Kayla. Pulls it to the backhand and as he's falling down, gets a piece of that puck on the backhand to put it in the back of the net. That was a great goal. Really nice goal by Reed. One to nothing, the Surrey Thunder over the North Delta Sun Devils to open up this game with 13 minutes and change left to go in this first period. Surrey Thunder's first on the board. He struck first, Green. The Thunder have struck him. That's what Thunder does, Green. And a nice save by Patch. Here we go. Uh, 18 Peterson making a couple moves. Pulls with the forehand. Another save by Patch. North Delta trying to collect that puck, but it's a Thunder there in the near side boards. North Delta comes with it, number 15, oh. and the shot and scores! Do gets a beauty for the Sun Devils and ties up this hockey game. He comes in the corner and does what he do and gets it, puts it in the back of the net. He does what he does and he does what he do, Green. Here you go, 18 Peterson. This is where it all starts off with. Uh, made that initial shot. Now watch as Dew's in a battle on the near side boards. He wins the battle. That's key to this goal right there and picks the near side corner, Green. It actually, actually ricocheted off of the post Soft. and into the back of the net. And he just dooed himself a goal. <laughs> he do do that. He, he did do that, Green. One to one. We're all tied up with nine and a half minutes left to go in this hockey game. Great. And it's a fun one. Great start to the game. It is. And, Green, you got to appreciate those Sally Entertainment helmet stickers that the kids are wearing. I do appreciate it. I love that. And Figarelli made all sorts of moves, and he got shut down by Patch as we run it back. Sponsored by Bilesu. Yeah, Patch is watching the whole way in, tracking the puck. Great save. Well, he patched up the holes, Green. Patched up the holes. Made the save. 
I'm just mesmerized by all those Selly stickers out there. I love it. This is what it's all about, Green. If you don't have a Selly sticker for your helmet, let us know in the comments and we'll be sure to try to get you one. Nice save by Pat. Right off of the face off, Surrey Thunder. Fired over to the far side, held in by Peterson. Gives it right over to Lay, who throws it towards the net. Patch makes that save. Picked up by Dollywall, who spins around. Dollywall trying to get away from Joseph. Can't do it. Joseph on the far side, throws it towards the net. Nice save by Patch. Right out front as the puck goes out of the Surrey Thunder zone. Yep, it's going to go all the way down North Delta zone. I don't think it's going to be an icing because they got down there in time. They did. And Delta's going to pick it up and take it away. Figarelli skating with that puck on the far side. Nice move by Figarelli to go around a Thunder player. Figarelli goes around Dollywall and then bites the dust. That's going to be a trip. There it is right there. That is why he bit the dust because he got tripped right yep. into the dust. That was a good call too. He got the stick up in the feet. Oh, let's run it back and have a closer look. Sponsored by Biosteel. Yeah, right here. He gets him in the foot. Good call. There it is, Green. You know, I would say anything's a good call. He's got a beautiful Sally sticker on the back of his helmet. So. And uh, number 11, Reed is going to have to go take a seat. So we'll take a little timeout. There you go. Joseph right there. Oh, nice. did he get that kid 14 in the face? Nice glove by Patch. No, that was a direct line right okay. to Patch's glove. Uh, Sandu, who comes in. Sandu fires it up. Number 15, Do gloves it down. Walking oh, right the puck right there. And Sandu comes to poke it in and get that insurance. Putting the North Delta Sun Devils up 2-1 to one as they get the lead for the first time here tonight. That was a tricky little goal, man. He kind of bounced up the goal. He had no idea where it was. Well, let's run it back. Sponsored by Biosteel and have a closer look. Sandu feeds it over to Dew. Look at that. He actually missed it. The puck is on the back of number 10, Dollywall. It goes sliding in. It was not crossed the line yet. Nope. Sandu comes there to push it in the back of the net to make sure that that puck got in the back of the yeah, net. Good for him. Great work by Sandu. Two to one, the Sun Devils over the Thunder with three minutes and chains left to go in this first period. Was that on a power play? Or no, it was on a... Yeah. 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 That, 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 that tripping call, Green. Here we go. The Sun Devils tried to hold the zone. They couldn't do it. It's Figarelli right there with that puck. Backhands it deep into the Surrey Thunder zone as Vettero collects that puck for the Surrey Thunder. Vettero getting pressured by a North Delta Sun Devil. Throws it up right into the stick of Kovacic. Now with number three, Dew has a shot and scores! The other Dew does it even better, Green. That's a Dew Dew. There's a couple Dews out there, and they are doing it. <laughs> they are doing what they need to do. Don't be a don't, be a do. As we run it back, sponsored by Biosteel. There we go. It all started right there. Uh, Vettero couldn't get that puck out. It was held in. Right on the tape of Dew from the point who throws it glove side, beats Patch, and just like that, Green, the North Delta Sun Devils are going to go up 3-1 to one after starting this hockey game in a deficit of one nothing. Yep, they did, and they're doing a great job of getting goals right now. Four goals in the first period so far. That's a lot of action in this uh, house league game, Green. Yeah, it's good. It's a fun one here. We like to see. We do like to see action, and we are seeing a lot of it right now as the Surrey Thunder backhand it hits the side of the net. Ricochets over to the near side, picked up by Judy. Judy dodges a little bit of a hit, fires that puck over to the near side, right off of the boards. Is that? Nope, not held in. Now it's out, Green. Scrambles. It gets brought back in by Dosange. Dosange walks in, has a shot, oh, and scores! Dosange went back for Got a beautiful goal for the Surrey Thunder. Green, that might be my favorite goal of the game so far. And they're doing the double moonwalk, Sally, because they know that Sally's live in attendance. This is a really good goal, man. He came in, picks up the puck. He's got the ever, the goalie completely screened, puts it far side on the goalie. Boom! Far down, baby. Kayla could not see anything. He had two bodies out front. Yeah. Watch this, Sally. That was a great goal. My favorite of the night. And look at this, Green. He's the goal scorer. But look at this other kid, number four. He starts doing the moonwalk. Remillard. And so number 18, Dos Anjos, is going to join him. And it's just a double moonwalk, Sally. That is the first time we've ever seen the double moonwalk. I like it. Three to two. The Sun Devils over the Surrey Thunder with a minute left to go in this hockey game. And Green, things always get exciting at the barn when Sally Entertainment shows up for your hockey game. Kids love it. They do. And uh, here we go. Surrey Thunder in their own zone. Nice pressure by Joseph. Coughed up. It's Peterson who has that puck. Peterson finds it right oh, out front. And holy cow, who was that, Green? That was a really nice goal. Stick on the ice hard. Peterson with a great apple. What a great goal. Dude, that was textbook right there. Is this a rep team or a house team? I don't know what's going on tonight, Green. Look at that. Fantastic. 
fantastic goal. That's number 14. Lay who gets his first goal of the game. And man, oh man, is there some really pretty goals in this game here. Yeah, that was nice. That was really nice. 4-2, to two, the Sun Devils over the Thunder with 41 seconds left to go in this first period. Really good first period. Man, fantastic first period. There's no shortage of action here tonight, Green. Uh, 14, Lay, fresh off of a goal, falls down, is picked up by number 7, Kovacic, who fires it towards the net, Patch makes a save. 14, Vettero collects that puck for the Surrey Thunder. Can't handle it, though. Big scramble, and we can't see because of that stupid bar. <laughs> I hate those bars, Green. I wish North Delta didn't have those bars. Yeah, well, they do. I know. Get over it. You can't. North Delta throw that puck, and Patch makes the save. Nice easy one. North Delta was trying to bank it off the goalie in the back of the net there. They're trying. Trying and trying they are, Green. Number 14, Lai has that puck, fires it towards the net, and that's going to do it for the first period. 4-2. to two. The North Delta Sun Devils over the Surrey Thunder so far. A lot of goals in that first period, man. It was really good. Listen, if you made it as far and you haven't already, do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and don't forget, today's episode has been powered by BioSteel. Back in the action, live here at the North Delta Recreation Complex for the second period between the Surrey Thunder and the North Delta Sun Devils. And like you said, Green, a lot of action in that first period. Six goals. Whoa. There's a tip by number 18, Dosan, and it's going to get credited to Peterson, who picks up his first goal of the game. I mean, it was a nice shot from the point, right? That's what happens. Put it, pucks on net. It was, Green. Exactly. Put pucks on net. You're going to see good things happen. Uh, there is a dish. He was calling for Peterson. He was skating in. He backs up, has that shot. It was a nice shot. It got tipped by number 18, Dosan. Changed directions as the goaltender was sliding for oh, that yeah. initial shot from Peterson, yep. tricking him and going in the back of the net, and that's going to be that, Green. I mean, Patch had the right idea. He was heading the right direction. He was. 5-2, to two, the Sun Devils over the Surrey Thunder with 14 minutes left to go in the second period. Thunder are now down three goals after starting this game off with a one nothing lead, Green, so they're going to need to... It's going to be a tough hill to climb. I mean, it's three goals. They cannot let this get any deeper or else they're going to be in trouble. They need to start battling back and battling back now. I agree. Surrey Thunder after that puck. Making a couple moves right over to 2-1. A lock. Stripped by the North Delta Sun Devils. Still in the zone of the Sun Devils. They can't clear their zone, Green. They're trying. They're having a hard time getting it out right now. A lock from the point holds it in, chips it over. They cannot get it out. 2-1. A lock. Oh, tipped by the Sun Devils player. And Green. Oh, my goodness. We just seen back-to-back unfortunate goals from both teams. This one was tipped by the Sun Devils player. And what are the odds of that? What are the odds? They're very, very not good, uh, Green. There is that tip by Saunders. And Green, I don't think I've ever seen this in my entire life. Two back-to-back -back goals of the exact same type uh, tipped by their own team in the back of the net. That is... That is a phenomenon is what that is. It happens, man. Every time, every now and then it's going to happen, right? It's an anomaly. Now and then, we never see that. Five to three, the Sun Devils over the Thunder. And now the Thunder are within two, Green. Here we go. Sandu coming in as a oh, shot. Nice, nice save. save by Patch. Followed him the whole way. You got to admire that. Green, I think Patch is also, also an affiliate player here in this game, according to the score sheet, which I've seen. So I don't know if uh, they're missing their regular goalie or if he's a younger call-up. But either way, he's, he's playing great. He's doing good. He's doing, doing really good. He's doing really good. Here. North Delta Sun Devils coming in. The assistant captain making a couple moves. It's Figarelli right over to 15. Do who has a shot. And again, Patch patches up those holes and makes a save. <laughs> patching everything. Man, when you got a nail in the tire, you patch it up, Green. There's a shot by the Thunder. Right oh. on the they have a shot, and they score! Number 15, Lumberjack just chopped down Kayla and got the goal. <laughs> Dude, he came in and chopped her down. There's a Lumberjack out there. There's a dude. Lumberjack. Man, oh man, the Surrey Thunder are now within one. What a game we have. Veteral, it all starts with him. He throws it on net. Kayla makes the initial save. He's going down to try to cover up yep. that puck, but Lumberjack just comes swinging that axe, Green, and, and he, he, he hits the quota for the day. Barry's in the back of the net. Five to four, the Sun Devils over the Thunder with three minutes left to go in the second period. Really close game. Man, this is such a close game. Back and forth the whole way so far, Green. As a number 15 do, just lightly slid that on net. Trying to trick patch. Instead of going for the hard shot, he was just going for the push. I think that's exactly what he was trying to do. 
Pats is too good for that, though. Strike him out, right? Read him like a book, Green. Surrey Thunder, 2-1. A lock. Winds up for the clap bomb. Kayla steers that one far side. I don't think he got all of that, though. No, I don't think so either. Surrey Thunder. Put it right out front. They missed the mark. They were looking for a lock. They couldn't hit him, though. Dollywall fires it cross ice. No one's there. Sandu after it for the Sun Devils. Can't clear the zone as it gets pushed back. Figarelli collects it in his own zone. Figarelli using those near side boards to get it over to Dew. Dew chips it up and they get it out of their zone. A little bit of a scramble he gets. I don't know if he got tripped up or if he just fell, Green. Probably just fell as Reed moves it back into the zone for the Sun Devils. Fires it right out front. And that's going to do it for the second period. 5-4, to four, the Sun Devils over the Thunder in a thriller of a game here at North Delta Rec Center. Yeah, it's been very good first two periods, man. Listen, if you made it this far and you haven't already, do us a small favor, hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, let's get... Oh, and today's episode has been sponsored by Wild Steel. There we go, Green. Back in the action, live here at the North Delta Recreation Center for the third period, and looks like Sandu got shut down there. <laughs> Nice catch, eh? That was a nice catch. Green, there's, uh, I think they only started this period with 10 or 9 minutes left on the clock since they were running a little into overtime. Yep. There was a lot of goals and a lot of clock uh, stoppages. So we're going to have ourselves a little bit of a short third period, I feel. Uh, number 12, Rangi from the point, throws it. Through traffic, doesn't make it, though. There's a shot, and number 3, Do couldn't find it after. But he found it. 17, Saunders, right over to Rangi. Rangi lets it go. I like those shots by Rangi. That's some nice D work by the Surrey Thunder to block those shots twice in a row. I agree. You gotta give, it, gotta give it up to the D. I've seen Rangi throw that puck from the point numerous times. He's got that good, hard, high shot, Green. That kid needs to keep on doing what he's doing because they're good things out there on the ice. Something that I noticed because I'm a parent on this team. You are not. You don't know this. You are not a parent on this team, Green. I am not a parent on this team. No, you are not. That's why I have more fun doing these games. Back in the action we I go. I time to do these games. I'm sure you do. Uh, here you go. Speaking <laughs> of do, there you go. I like all hockey, man. It doesn't bother me. Sure it doesn't. Uh, here you go. Figurelli there with, with the has a shot. Nice read by Patch to slide over and make that save. Just so everybody knows and it's clear, I, I enjoy watching all you guys play hockey. Yeah, you sound just thrilled this whole game commentating <laughs> uh, compared to every other game that you do. I could tell for sure. Compare games, ladies and gentlemen. See Aaron Green's enthusiasm between this game and every single other game he does, and let us know in the comments how <laughs> thrilled he is. Uh, Here we go, Surrey super. Thunder trying to tie it up. They go flying through the neutral, uh, it's not, not the neutral zone, the Sun Devil zone. You got me all flustered, Green. Yeah, you got yourself flustered. Yeah, well, I like to trip you. I mean, and it's true, so. <laughs> And there's going to be a penalty on the play. What is the referee calling? It's uh, probably going to be interference. Body contact. Oh, it's going to be body contact. Okay. There's no contact allowed to House League. And plus it's U13. I don't see the body contact, though. I mean, I see a trip. I see a trip. Oh, that was the first oh, it's one. Right there. Oh, well, Green, the trip was on the other side. The that could have been ball. two penalties. The Sun Devils should actually be going in the box for that trip. I agree. Uh, but they're not. They're not. Do you have anything to say to the referees, Green? I do not. Good, because they are fans. I, uh, they have let it be known that they can't wait to watch this game. And, uh, yeah. I have zero problem with the officials. Good. Glad to hear, Green. As the battle continues for the Surrey Thunder and the North Delta Sun Devils. Just bodies all over the place, barely being able to stand on the ice. Oh, he almost got it. Almost got it on the backhand, Green. Surrey Thunder move that puck out of their zone as Figarelli dumps it back in. Man, that kid can play good D. Yeah, he's good. He's doing he's a really good. He's doing a really good job of just hammering that puck that back into the opposition zone. It's Reed there trying to get a read on it. Number 17, Lumberjack has a shot, and Kayla makes a save. And Green, I'm having a look at the clock. It looks like it's starting to wind down here pretty soon. The Thunder got to get one on the board if they want any hopes of tying this game. There's an empty net, and that's going to do it. 5-4, to four, the Sun Devils over the Surrey Thunder in a very close and very exciting game, if you ask me. Yeah, super exciting and very close. I loved it. Everybody played so good. North Delta comes away with a win. Good job, boys. That's how we talk in a regular game. Let's have a look at the plays of the game brought to you by Bile Steel and Green. This is my favorite goal. Sure. A good pass by Peterson right to the Sun Devils player. Stick hard on the ice. That was a rep level goal. Keep doing those things, kids, because that was a thing of beauty. Yeah, that was textbook. 
And that's the play of the game. Green, a, a great game. I can't speak uh, enough good things about this, mainly because it's my kids' team. Uh, I'm biased. Five to four. Let's go interview the MVP of the North Delta Sun Devils. All right, let's go. See you guys later. Well, Ryan Vincent here from Cell Entertainment, sponsored by Biosteel. I'm with Dominic of the North Delta Sun Devils. First and foremost, what a game. How are you feeling after that victory? I'm feeling great about that. Uh, I felt like I was getting really good passes, and the whole team was just moving the puck up, and we were getting lots of shots on net. So I'm happy about it. Really close battle between the Surrey team. The first time we've seen them this year, you guys edged the victory. What was the game plan going into this game to do that? Uh, so our game plan was to get as many shots on net as we can, get the puck, score some goals, and like every win every period. Well, you did that, Dom. On behalf of Biosteel, you are the MVP. Here's a brand new Biosteel water bottle. On behalf of Selly, here's a Selly hoodie. And before I let you go, a couple quick fun questions, Dom. What's your favorite TV show or video game? Uh, TV show, uh, Cobra Kai. And the new season actually came out today. So I'm going to... Watch that with my dad. The Karate Kid, beauty. Last question, who's your hockey uh, favorite hockey player? Uh, probably Quinn Hughes. He's a classic with everyone, eh? Hey, congratulations on the big win. Thank you.